How are we doing you wonderful people? My name is Jay and this is how my week went. Now, before we get into the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. That way you guys will receive all the channel notifications and you can keep up to date with all the latest videos. But now that's out of the way, let's get into the video. For those of you who don't know, my name is Jay and I'm the store manager for the Braintree branch. And Phoenix have around 17 stores that are scattered around all over the place. And I'm also one of the social media managers for the whole company. This is the first episode of a brand new series where we go through my week and I show you guys what I've been up to. But that's enough of me talking, let's start the weekly roundup. This week, my days off were Monday and Sunday, so we're starting this weekly roundup on Tuesday. For me personally, the first day back at work, I'm usually a bit slower in the mornings, and that's only because I'm not really a morning person, I need a lot of caffeine to function, but Misha, my colleague, was working on the Monday, and she did an incredible job. She got the store ready. It was spotless, all the daily jobs were done, so when I come in on the Tuesday, all I had to do was turn the till on and open the doors. Now don't get me wrong, I still had things to do, but with Misha doing all that preparation for me, it just made my morning run a lot smoother. Now if I'm being honest, the morning for Tuesdays, they're usually pretty quiet in our local town, but we did have the local council out making a lot of noise and making it very hard to talk to customers. These guys have been making noise all day. I know they've got a job to do and that's fine, but uh, yeah, struggling to hear myself think today. And it was so sporadic. We would have like an hour of silence and two hours solid of this jackhammer ripping up the pavement. And I'm not having a go, to be honest, the, the pavement does need redoing, but it was always while I was serving a customer, which just made me laugh when I look back on it. So I've had my morning coffee, spoke to some regular customers, the council workers had wrapped up their tools for the day and left, given us a bit of peace and quiet, and then our hardware delivery turns up. I love delivery days, whether it's e-liquid or hardware. I'm a big kid at heart. I like opening things, I get excited about new products, things that we can share with you guys because you guys get just as excited. And this week we did actually have some new hardware lines. So going through the delivery today, we've actually got some new devices. So we've actually got the whole range of the Aspire mini cans. Now I've actually done a review on these and they'll be linked in the description below. These things are fantastic. So I'd recommend checking them out. We've also got these in stock with the replaceable pods. For any of you guys that are watching that are regulars in your local vape shop, then you know what I mean. You will have been there when the delivery turns up and it's just pure excitement for 20, 30 minutes. It's like Christmas every week. I absolutely love it. After putting the delivery away and getting excited about the new products, Tuesday afternoon was pretty much a normal afternoon. It was talking to you guys, getting to know the community and helping out wherever I can. So now let's move on to Wednesday. Wednesday was a big day for me because I was going up to head office to have a few meetings with my operations manager and both my directors. Not only is it a big day for me, but it also become a very long day. And that's purely because I live in Essex and our head office is located in Peterborough, which isn't really that far when you think about it. It's about an hour and a half drive one way. I think it's about 60 or 70 miles, but I'm not used to doing that sort of traveling. So it just takes a lot out of me. I very rarely go to head office, but I do enjoy my trips when I go up there. And that's purely because the people that I'm talking to, the people I'm catching up with, I get on really well with, but I only really speak to them on the phone or over email. I think the last time I physically saw these people was back in February. They had like a vape night for the flagship store, which was awesome. Don't really remember most of it though. But since then, everyone's been on lockdown, so it was a nice opportunity just to see how everyone was and kind of catch up with them a little. So I got up early, jumped in the car, it was glorious weather when I left, and made my way to head office. And by the time I got to head office, the weather in Peterborough was terrible. It was overcast and this like on and off rain drizzle stuff. I mean, I was indoors for most of the day, but it was just like, I looked out the window and thought it was so nice in Essex when I left this morning. Why is it like this? We're in July. So after a long day of meetings and catching up with people that I hadn't spoke to in months, we all headed over to the Peterborough Vape Lounge. Peterborough Vape Lounge is the flagship store for Phoenix. And every time that I've been there, I've had a great time. The staff are really friendly and it's a perfect balance between a lounge slash bar and a vape shop. One thing that they do really well at the vape lounge is they make you feel like royalty. Like genuinely, you do feel like royalty. Every time you go up there, you are well looked after. They do everything they can to, to help you out. And it's just an overall nice experience. Earlier on in the year, I was sent up to Peterborough Vape Lounge to showcase the old layout of the store. 
and I'm yet to go back up there and record the new layout of the store to show you guys. And while we were there, we got a chance to sit down with Sean, our technical director. And he sat down with us, had a little chat and explained a little bit about his job role and his vision for EL Science. And then afterwards, he showed us around the science labs where we make all of our e-liquids. If that's something that you guys are interested in and wanna check out, there is a link in the description. Let's move on to Thursday. Thursday was my favorite day of the week so far. And that's because I was covering the Bishop Storford store. Now the Bishop Storford store manager is James and he's personally a very good friend of mine. Now his colleague and sales associate unfortunately can't come back to work yet as he's part of the shielding program. So he's gotta stay at home for a little bit longer and keep himself isolated. So I said that I will always cover and help out wherever I can as he is my closest store. And like I said, he's a good friend of mine. There's genuinely so many things that I love about Bishop Storford. The town itself has a lot of history and a lot of character. I love the community that's over at the Bishop Storford store that James has built over the last four or five years. He's done an incredible job with that place. And I genuinely love working there. Every time that I'm covering the Bishop Storford store, all of his regulars say the exact same thing. He goes above and beyond, gives incredible service, knows what he's talking about, and more importantly, gets involved in the community. Now, while I was at Bishop Storford, I was also getting ahead of myself and recording some videos to make my week go a little bit smoother. The one thing that everyone loves about James is he's a bit of a troll and he's a bit of a prankster, but he's always up for a laugh. Now, I'll be honest, the store is a lot smaller than what I'm used to at Braintree, but it does have a lot of character and James has done incredibly well to showcase all the sort of bits that he's into and incorporate into the community he's built there. He's got a Darth Vader helmet, like how awesome is that? He also has a wall where he's got a regular customer who's bought a product and then it's become a meme where customers then have a picture holding this picture and it's, it's like picture inception. It's really weird, but it's actually like jokes when you think about it. He even has a basketball hoop on the wall. Like how cool is this vape shop? Because I know that James is a bit of a prankster, I thought that I'd play a prank on him. So I stole his TV. I literally picked it up, walked out of the house and took it home, put it in my flat. Looking back through the week, I should have probably told my partner I was bringing home a new TV. But then again, I didn't even know I was bringing home a new TV at the start of the day. It just kind of happened. And I knew that James would see the funny side. So my partner comes home and she sees this. She sees me sitting on the sofa with a new TV, which ultimately results in this facial expression that she pulled, which I had to get on camera because I don't blame her. She was genuinely confused. I'm actually covering the Bishop Storford store next Thursday. So I'm kind of hoping for like a prank war. I think you guys would love to see that. Uh, I'm watching you, James. Then we move to Friday. In comparison to Thursday, Friday was a really boring day. Uh, I actually had a really good day Friday though. The store was very, very busy. I spent most of my morning catching up on some admin to make sure I'd had everything planned for next week. And I also spent my day talking to regular customers and seeing these guys for the first time out of lockdown, even now, even though we've been open like a month or so, uh, it's just been nice to catch up with them, make sure they're keeping all right mentally, physically, uh, and obviously being able to help them keep on their vaping journey. I also spent a lot of time with my newer customers and I just want to get to know people. I love this industry so much for so many different reasons and uh, being able to help people make the switch or just get to know other people in the community is just awesome. I even managed to work on a few videos on Friday, even though we were really busy, I managed to work it in, in between customers or in my downtime. So I was trying to get ahead for next week's content. And that brings us to Saturday. In general, Saturday was just really busy from the first moment we opened to the last minute when we closed. A lot of the regular customers have started to go back to work now, so it's their first weekends off. So they were coming in and telling me about how it's nice to get back in their routines. And we had a lot of new customers. I just love days like that where we can just be a big community and get to know each other. And that is the weekly roundup. As the weeks go by, I wanna start including more managers and regular customers that are willing to get involved and get on the channel. So if you guys are interested, make sure you leave a comment down below because I may be coming to a store near you soon and I'd love to get people involved. But I wanna know what you guys wanna see from this channel. We have so much content lined up. I'm so excited to share it with you guys, but I'm curious to see what you wanna see first. We've got podcast lineup, we've got e-liquid reviews, hardware reviews, and shop tours. I want you guys to comment down below what you wanna see from the channel next, and we'll make it happen. But that wraps up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to leave a like. Remember to subscribe with notifications turned on if you haven't already. 
If you guys want to see more videos from myself, then my channel is in the description below, so feel free to check it out. Lastly, if you want to see my day to day and see the behind the scenes of how these videos are made, then make sure you follow my Instagram for my daily Instagram stories, and I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace.